मेरा प्यारा बच्चा लोग हाई टू ऑल माई लेजेंड्स कैसे सब लोग आई थिंक देर आर सम वैरियज ऑल्सो इन द क्लास रूम राइट सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैम टू बी एंग्री सो येस हाई टू ऑल द वैरियज एंड लेजेंड्स इन द क्लास रूम कैसे आप सब लोग एंड आई होप यू ऑल हैव सेव सम एनर्जी फॉर दिस टेन पी एम क्लास इज एन एट आफ्टर हैविंग डिनर ओके आई ऑल्सो हैड माई डिनर आई एम विद कम्प्लीट एनर्जी आई ऑल्सो यू you are having your complete energy within every one of you right so yes this is amir your physics educator at an academy and if you all can see me and hear me jaldi se jaldi turant se turant give me an amazing thumbs up everyone go for it quickly 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 everyone where is the thumbs up am i not audible and visible and i know that okay I I know that why you don't want to give thumbs up. I know that some of you do love Amir sir a lot, do love physics a lot. So you can uh, just give what a heart in the chat box. You don't have to give me thumbs up. You can give me an amazing. Abhishek Raj, good evening. Me to s, bilkul badiya. I hope you can see that from my face, right? So Priya, Riya, Vasu Priya, Anna is hi, Anna. Vaishali hi, Ritu hi, Avocado, Avocado is here also. Very good Avocado. Abhishek Raj, what is your uh, real name Avocado? <clears throat> then we have Lakshmi Miara then Priya good evening and hi to everyone in the classroom sab badhiya na aap log hai na sab badhiya and came prepared for learning the today's topic what is the topic for today yes optical instruments and if we talk specifically about that optical instrument we will be discussing in today's classes yes regarding microscope so i know that what uh, i hope you all know what a microscope is right sabko pata hai na yes in detail we are going to see how we are able to see chotu 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 objects with the help of a microscope by using the all concepts of light and lenses theek hai now uh, i hope you can see my colorful page here so who are is seeing me for the very first time myself amir i have an experience of more than 3 and a half years in the field of teaching je neat and board student i am a beta graduate from an it calicut i thought i mentored many student this is all about me more about me how will you come to know yes come to my classes regularly because those who come to my classes regularly might be knowing i am from uh, kerala right and i don't know hindi much fir bhi beech beech mein thoda thoda hindi mein baat bhi karta hu main then uh, this is uh, the schedule for uh, this particular week as you can see so for uh, legends batch Today we'll be having a yar. Aja, aja, mera bhai. Today we'll be having the optical instrument. Tomorrow we don't have class, but on uh, the next class will be on third October for Legends batch. And uh, what is it? Yes, it is a one shot video of uh, alternating current. Wow, wow, re, amazing, amazing. And Thursday also we have class. I I don't know where it has gone. On Thursday we have the class, the second class for ray optics, right? And then the next class will be on third October, alternating current ka complete revision, complete revision which in the entire concept, and we'll be doing multiple choice question also in the form of Mendy. It is one shot third October, and at what time? 3 p.m. Sunday. So, aaram se you can enjoy that particular evening with me. It will be a chill pill class. Okay, aaram se we'll learn each and every concept from alternating current. ठीक है? ओके बढ़िया देन जाइ इन दिन अकेडमी क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ यू नो दैट सो मेनी अमेजिंग एजुकेटर्स आर देर आई नो दैट यू डोंट वांट टू मिस एनी ऑफ द लाइव क्लासेस फॉर दैट यू नीड टू गेट द अलर्ट्स एंड नोटिफिकेशंस ऑन टाइम है ना दिस हैपेंस वंस यू आर अ पार्ट ऑफ टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड यू कैन सी द लिंक इज गिवन राइट हियर जल्दी से आ जाए ओके आई आर वी ऑल टीचर्स आर एक्सपेक्टिंग एवरी वन ऑफ यू देयर इज देयर एनीवन हु डजंट नो दैट for uh, the cbse exam the pattern has changed i hope everyone knows so if you want to attend all these multiple choice question and the assertion reason type question you should be having enough practice so an academy cares for all the students of an academy or let's call them as an academyians right so that's why every week we'll be having the mock tests so that you can prepare yourself for the new exam pattern of cbse and those who are who are is getting a very good mark आप तो बहुत फेमस हो जाएगा बिकॉज योर नेम आपका चेहरा विल बी कमिंग ऑन ऑल द सोशल मीडिया हैंडल सच एज यूट्यूब इंस्टाग्राम विच इज बींग मैनेज बाई एन अकेडमी इससे ज्यादा क्या चाहिए आप लोग बहुत बहुत ज्यादा फेमस हो जाएगा यू कैन सी द डेट्स फॉर ईच एंड एवरी सब्जेक्ट ओके इट इज कम्प्लीटली फ्री यू कैन कम ऑन 
come and enroll it usually happens at the time of 5 to 6 30 pm okay i'll talk about an academy subscription for uh, two minutes then we'll start with our classes okay now i know that whenever you listen to this part of subscription i know that everyone will be thinking sir why we have to take this as subscription though everything is available for free in youtube it's very simple because in the platform we all teachers will be teaching with a proper schedule targeting cbse exam uh, then je exam and uh, the neat exam right and we'll make sure that all the topics are going in order right so that you won't feel any confusion whenever a topic is being discussed and you can keep track of all the topics of whatever you are learning so what ho jayega ha bilkul the learning process will be super simple and once the learning process is simple you can learn more and aapka progress will be super amazing and aapka performance will be super great then top educators of the country are already there who is having amazing experience in the field of uh, teaching because those teachers who's having very good uh, great experiences they'll be knowing what the exam pattern is going to be how the questions are going to come they'll be just telling you these are the way it is going to come you just want to practice in the same way and if you do that you'll get a very good marks right it will help you to reach into the colleges whichever you are dreaming about then practice test will be there live test series will be there which will make you super confident and will bring the best out of you and for enjoying all these features you should be going for the plus subscription how much will it cost dekhle for 12 months it will cost you 1250 per month and do you need to pay that much amount of money bilkul nahi because amir sir hai na so i'll give you the code of amv10 use this and get 10 percentage of discount from the already set price don't forget keep it right next to your heart whenever you make subscription the code is amv10 some of you will be thinking sir is only this much of features is available with an academy and academy is a big uh, a big thing like that and uh, you only have this much of features no along with all the features i have explained if you need some extra features you can go with iconic subscription because there you will get a personal mentor personal mentor matlab someone will uh, help you right to prepare the schedule what to study the strategy of your study should be which mean aapka study process hai na it will be uh, bahut aasan ho jayega it will be so simple there once this person is assigned to you then live doubt solving classes will be there weekly reports will be given to you for all these amazing features and uh, if you are going for 12 month subscription how much will it cost it will cost you 2333 per month and uh, what the code you have to use if, if you want to get 10% percentage of discount use kar le the code amb10 and uh, get 10% percentage of discount and enjoy your uh, subscription with this discount money isn't it and then do you know why i say that this is the best time for every one of you to make the subscription because if you make the subscription before 4th of october four months extra free will be given to you if you are going for 12 month subscription it's an amazing offer don't uh, miss it so i'm expecting as many students as possible at the right time and if you start learning with an academy right now if you start learning your complete syllabus can be completed right uh, before uh, the actual examination comes bus this much now we're going to start with the optics lakshmi good evening me to bilkul badhiya okay these many chats are done so abhishek mr xyz mohit avocado mohit gupta parul priya rashi miara tell me are you all ready for the classes to get started jaldi se jaldi bol de miara let's start very good rashi hi हम तैयार है आना बिल्कुल बिल्कुल राशि म्यारा लेट्स क्रैक इट सो आई होप एवरी वन दिस क्लास रूम इज टोटली एक्साइटेड ठीक है सो बी अलर्ट इन द इन बिटवीन आई बी आस्किंग यू क्वेश्चन एंड आई वॉन्ट एवरी वन ऑफ यू टू अपडेट इन द चैट बॉक्स ठीक है कमिंग बैक टेल मी वॉट वर द मेन टॉपिक्स वी वर डिस्कसिंग इन यस्टर डेज क्लास द मेन टॉपिक ऑफ यस्टर डेज क्लास वॉज द रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू अ प्रिज राइट फर्स्ट वील मेक अ क्विक रिविशन If a light ray passes through a prism, it will be undergoing a refraction, right? And the emergent light ray will be making a deviation from the incident light ray. What's the formula? If in the general case, I plus E minus A, I is incident angle, E is the emergent angle, and A is the angle of the prism, right? And if this is undergoing minimum deviation. If this is undergoing the minimum deviation, what is the formula for mini, uh, lambda minimum? It is a 2i minus a. 
in the same situation, we can also write the formula for refractive index of that material of the prism. Ha, huh. give me sine of a plus lambda min by 2, right, whole divided by sine a by 2, here we are that, right. We also have made one more condition. How many of you do remember? Yes. If the light ray is undergoing minimum deviation, deviation is minimum. And if the prism angle is small, in this case, minimum deviation and prism angle is small, what was the formula for, what was the formula for deviation in that case? It was given as n minus 1 into a, yaad hai ya nahi? This, don't use it all the time, whenever minimum deviation happens and if the prism angle is small, in that condition only, we can use a formula for deviation as refractive index minus 1 into the angle of prism. Done, 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 done. Koi doubt nahi? Theek hai? And uh, is this the only topics we have covered? Nahi. One more. Dispersion. How many of you do remember? Dispersion ke baare mein? Same prism, instead of a monochromatic light, if I pass a white light, this white light will be converted into its, how much? Ha, huh, how many colors are there? Seven different colors, where the violet will be undergoing the maximum deviation and the red will be undergoing the least deviation. And the angle between them is called as angle of dispersion. Formula kya tha? What is uh, the angle of dispersion? NV minus NR into A. Yaad hai ya nahi? It was still here. We have made our discussion in yesterday's class. If anybody is having any doubts, please let me know in the chat box. Or else, we are going to continue from here. What is it? We are going to continue from here. If everyone is super ready, humko shuru kar sakta hai. Ha 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 Anna, dispersive power also, very good, very good, very good Anna. So, dispersive power omega ka formula was NV minus NR divided by N minus 1. N means the refractive index of the yellow light ray is usually we take, right? Or if the refractive index of yellow is not given, this N is considered as a refractive index almost of the middle light ray. So, we can actually take the average value of refractive index of violet and red if this n value is not given for finding out dispersive power. Very good. Badiya, badiya, badiya. So, yes, Anna has proved that she was totally listening into the class. Okay. So, humko proceed kar sakta hai na, bilkul. Now, the next topic we are going to discuss is a JE topic. So, achche se sun le. Achche se. Bahut achche se. Bahut achche se sun le. We have a prism, okay. Whenever I let a white light to pass through it, we know that it will be undergoing dispersion and it will be converted into its uh, seven different colors from uh, red to violet or violet to red. Yes or no? Have you noticed a very small thing here? Whenever light ray undergoes refraction through a prism, in which direction it bends? It bends towards the base. Hey ya nahi? Hey ya nahi? Can't you see the light rays are bending toward the base whenever it passes through a prism? Yes. Now, I'm having one of the prism and I'm keeping another prism in the opposite direction. This is the first base and this is the second base. Now, let's see what happens when the light ray passes through a combination of prism kept in the opposite direction. Light ray, right? It will be converted into its seven different colors after passing through the first prism and it will be bending to the, toward the base. This light ray, what happens? Now it will enter into the second base. Can you tell me what will happen right now? Ha! Huh. Once it enters into the second prism, there is a possibility that it's not a possibility. We know that the light ray will be bending toward the base and there is a possibility that the possibility is this light ray, while it bend toward the base passing through the second prism, these two light rays will be converging again and will be coming out as white light itself. Right? 
So this case of the combination of the prism where there is no dispersion, white light is entering, white light is exiting, which means there is no dispersion, but there is a bending is called as deviation without dispersion or <coughs> achromatic combination of the prism. Understood what happens? First prism will be making it dispersed and the other prism, what will be doing? Ha! Huh, it will be combining all those dispersed light back into its white light. So this combination of prism, we call it as achromatic combination. Is ka naam kya hai? Achromatic. Chroma means color. Achromatic means without color because white light enters and it exists as white light itself. <coughs> Can you tell me what will be the condition for this to happen? Can you tell me what will be the condition? The condition is the angular dispersion in the first prism. What is the angular dispersion in the first prism? Nv minus Nr into A should be equal and opposite produced by the second prism. Matlab, angular dispersion of the first prism should be equal and opposite to the angular dispersion produced by the second prism. How will you write the angular dispersion of the second prism? Nv dash minus Nr dash because we don't know what is the refractive index value in the second prism into A dash. A dash matlab, the prism angle of the second one. So, A A dash. If this condition is satisfied, if the angular dispersion of the first prism is equal and opposite to the angular dispersion of the second only, what will happen? This condition of achromatic combination of the, the prisms is possible. Yes, how much me agya? Yes, how There is a deviation. Yes or no? Bol de. A light ray is passing like this and the light ray is exiting like this. Can you, how can we find out the net deviation? How can you find out? Dekle. Let's say that lambda 1 is a deviation produced by the first prism and let's say lambda 2 is a deviation produced by the second prism. What will be the net deviation? Is it lambda 1 plus lambda 2 or is it minus? Won't it be minus? Why? Why the deviation has to be subtracted? Because the prisms are deviating the light rays in the opposite direction. So obviously the deviation has to be subtracted. Formula for deviation? N minus 1 into A. Hai na? So what will be the deviation in the first? N1 minus 1 into A dash. Right? Or let's say A1 minus N2 minus 1 into A2. A1 and A2 means? A1 and A2 means the prism angle of the first and second. Refractive index N1 is a refractive index of the mean light ray. Usually we take it that for the yellow one, right? So this is how you find out the net deviation and this is only possible once this condition is satisfied. What is that condition? Ha! Ah, once the angular dispersion of the first prism is equal and opposite to the angular dispersion in the second case. Bilkul. It is very important. And let me tell you, it is not a board topic. Okay. This is a JE topic. So, those who are taking JE and NEET seriously, only please note it down. It is not going to come for the board exam. <laughs> Hi, Vijay Devar Kunda, sir. So, Samaj me agya to bol de. Sir, yo, 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 Samaj me agya. Bilkul Samaj me agya. Achche se Samaj me agya. Ar itna saara pyaar hai aaj class pe. Thank you so much. Understood with a smile. Bilkul badiya. Sophia, hi, good. Me to bilkul badiya, Sophia. Ten me bhi tha. Was this thought in the 10th standard classroom? I don't think so. Bilkul, bilkul nahi. Was there this topic in 10th standard? Maybe in ICSE. I have no idea. ICSE me the syllabus is too huge. I have no idea whether it is taught in ICSE or not. But in CBSE, I don't think so. Yeah, no, 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 I don't think so. In CBSE, we are uh, learning this uh, acromatic because in 12th standard itself, only for JE, this topic is there. No, yeah, no, all right, theek hai, theek hai. next, the next kind of combination of the prism. Okay, Dekle, I hope you all have written this. The second combination, right? So, you have the first prism 
and the second prism kept it opposite way, right? If you want me to write one and two is kept in the opposite direction. So a white light, if it passes through the first prism, what happens? It will be undergoing the dispersion like this, right? And uh, once it passes this dispersed light from the first prism, once it passes to the second, there is a possibility that, right, the final light ray will be coming out without any deviation. Matlab, whatever was the direction of incident light ray, the final light rays will also be coming in the same direction. All the light rays will be moving in the same direction of the incident light ray. This is possible. And when that is possible, you can see that there is a stretch of color from red to violet. Here, kya hai? There is a dispersion. There is a colored light rays from red to violet. Dispersion to hai, but there is no deviation. So, this is the combination which we call it by the name of acro. Sorry, this is chromatic combination. Understood? Chroma matlab, ha, color to hai, dispersion is there, lekin deviation to nahi hai. If the deviation shouldn't be there, can you tell me what should be the condition to be satisfied? Ha, the deviation produced by the first prism should be equal and opposite to the deviation produced by the second prism. Hey, ya nahi? If this condition is satisfied only, we can have a refraction passing through both these are prisms without any deviation. Understood? Yes? Okay, that is done. Now tell me, how will you find out the net angular dispersion? That the net angle between the red and violet? Ha! Huh. First find out the angular dispersion when it passes through the first prism. Formula? NV minus NR into its angle A1. Then find out the angular dispersion produced by the second prism. Ye kitna ho jayega? NV dash minus NR dash into A2. A2 is a prism angle in the second. How will you find out the net di uh, dispersion? The net angular dispersion, once it comes out of both the prism, is equal to, is it theta 1 plus theta 2 or theta minus theta 2? Is it theta 1 plus theta 2 or is it theta 1 minus theta 2? Jaldi. I want every one of you to give the answer in the chat box. I am looking into the chat box. Update me. Jaldi se. Jaldi, 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 jaldi. Is it plus or minus? I have no idea how much lag is there. Plus or minus? Until I get the correct answer, I am not going to move forward. I am so, I am so adamant. <laughs> Rupesh is plus. Bharat ha chunid. Then Lena is minus, uh, says she is minus. Bharat says minus. Abhishek says minus. Very good. Vaishnavi, it is negative. Why? Because we already know these are undergoing the dispersion in the opposite direction. Right? The first prism is dispersing towards down and the other one is dispersing towards up opposite direction. So, net dispersion is theta 1 minus theta 2 because they are dispersing in the opposite direction. Understood? Is this topic of the combination of lenses to have chromatic and achromatic combination, is it clear? Which means uh, to have deviation without any dispersion and dispersion without any deviation. Okay, so clear. Koi gadbad nahi. Hana, with a smile, muskura kar. Samaj mein aagya? Okay. You will understand whether you got this uh, entire concept while you start doing the problem. To kar le. Start reading first. I will give you some uh, 5, 10, uh, let's say 15 seconds. Everyone, read the question and uh, try whether you are able to understand whatever is written in the question. Achche se pad le. I am giving you some time. It's a JE question. Right? It is actually a JE question and read it out and tell me whether you are able to find out the answer or not. Achche se. Okay, Pala, go. Good night, good night, good night. Anyone? Okay. So, whoever get the answer, please do update. In the meanwhile, I will also explain. Okay. 
let's see who's going to give the answer so fast here is it amir sir or the various group sorry legends group mera galti a flint glass prism and a crown uh, glass prism are combined in such a way that the deviation of the mean ray is zero so which is this condition ha huh, this is the dispersion without any deviation let us write the formula so if you don't want any deviation deviation produced by the first prism should be equal and opposite to the deviation produced by the second prism this is the condition to be satisfied if you are combining two two prism to have zero deviation hai na theek hai refractive index of the flint and ground crown glasses are 1.6 n1 value is given and uh, n2 value is also given right if the refracting angle of the flint prism flint is at first one ha huh? flint is first one so flint prism a1 ka value is also given refracting angle mean the angle of the prism right another term that you will be using or you'll find in the question is refracting angle so don't make a mistake there by thinking your refracting angle to kya hai amir sir ne nahi bataya bataya theek hai just now i have told you mark it down question is what is uh, the angle of the crown prism those who don't have learned this particular concept wouldn't be giving the answer whatever may be the time he takes for uh, solving it right now we know the concept we already have the equation in our hand what to be done just put the values in this equation kerle n1 1.62 minus 1 A one six. What is N two? One point five one eight minus one. A two का value पता नहीं. A two one point six two minus one is zero point six two into six. Why one point five one eight minus one? It is zero point five one eight. देख ले. Please don't do the entire math here because you already have the options. So 0.62 by 0.518. This is a value a bit greater than one. If you multiply a value a bit greater than one with six, you'll be getting a value a bit greater than six. That is option B. So we have the option B as our answer. Please don't waste your time by doing the entire mathematics. This is not any any part where you'll be showing off your mathematics. समझ में आ गया? Understood, I suppose. कोई गड़बड़ है तो बता दे जल्दी मुझे नहीं तो आम वी आर गोना मूव इट ओके यस तो कोई गड़बड़ नहीं है आई होप यू ऑल गॉड इट है या नहीं बता मेरा वेरियज एंड लेजेंड्स है या नहीं अरे इधर बिग लायर का बुला रहा है मुझे आई हैव नो आइडिया हु इट इज यस वैष्णवी क्रिस्टल क्लियर वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सर बोथ्स वाले क्या करे अरे इधर रुक ले ओके बी हियर वी आर गोना डिस्कस दी एंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बोर्ड सम एक्स्ट्रा टॉपिक्स विल बी कमिंग फॉर जेई दैट आल्सो इज बीइंग डिस्कस बट यू हैव टू नो दैट वंस यू डिस्कस दी एक्स्ट्रा टॉपिक्स आपका ही नॉलेज तो इंक्रीज हो रहा है सो व्हाट एवर इज अ टॉपिक फॉर बोर्ड एग्जाम विल बी मोर एंड मोर क्लियर ठीक है देख ले दिस अ क्वेश्चन फॉर बोर्ड एग्जाम ओके नॉट फॉर जेई इट इज फ्रॉम द पार्ट ऑफ डिस्पर्शन नॉट द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्रिज्म व्हिच इज नॉट देयर फॉर बोर्ड दिस इज देयर फॉर द बोर्ड सो एवरीवन लिख लिया अ मोनोक्रोमैटिक लाइट इज इंसिडेंट ऑन अ ग्लास प्रिज्म ऑफ एंगल ए ओके इफ द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ द मटेरियल ऑफ द प्रिज्म इज म्यू अ रे इंसिडेंट एट एंगल थीटा क्या क्या लिखा है द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज थीटा ऑन द फेस ए बी ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू द फेस ए सी ऑफ द प्रिज्म प्रोवाइडेड व्हिच मींस this light ray which is getting incident at an angle of theta right if it want to exit through this particular phase of ac what is the condition to be satisfied first thought should be okay what is the reason for this light ray though this prism is transparent would not come out yes there is a condition called as total internal reflection if the light ray undergoes total internal reflection what happens ha it will be reflected back to the same uh, medium so it won't be going out this shouldn't happen if this shouldn't happen can you tell me 
this angle which I have marked R2. Should it be greater than the critical angle or should it be lesser than the critical angle? This angle of incidence at this uh, second phase, the angle which is marked as R2, the angle which is marked as R2, should it be greater than critical or lesser than? Or if the angle of incidence is greater than critical, it will be undergoing total internal reflection. Hai na? So, if it want to go to the second medium, ha, R2 ka value should be lesser than critical angle. Bus, hai na? Multiply it with sine on both the side. Sine R2 should be lesser than sine of IC. Tell me what is sine of critical angle? We all have learned 1 by n. Hey, ya nahi? Hey, ya nahi? Sine of critical angle is equal to 1 by n. Hum sab ko, hum sab ne, we all have together learned in the initial part. Yes. R2 should be lesser than sine inverse of 1 by n. Okay. I took the inverse of sine when it goes to the right hand side. Is it clear till here? Okay. The question is not to find out the condition for R2. The question is to find out the condition for theta. If I mark this as angle R1, you know that we can actually equate sin theta by sin R1 is equal to N refractive index. From here, you can get a value for theta or the condition for theta so that the light ray will be coming out. But again, this equation is not connected to R2. We should be making a connection between this theta and R2 that the only way we can get the answer, the final answer. Is there any method? Dekle. Sin theta is equal to n times sin r1. Can I introduce r1 here? Bilkul. How many of you do remember? r1 plus r2. Yesterday's topic was a. Yeh hai. r1 plus r2 is equal to a. So, r2 is equal to a minus r1. Yeh bhi yaad ho jayega. You will be remembering this also. So, I am just going to use it over here. R2 is equal to A minus R1 is lesser than sine inverse of 1 by N. Now, from here, won't I get R1? Milega ya nehi milega. Bol de. Ha, sir, milega. R1, if I take to the right, R1, which is greater than, will be equal to A minus sine inverse of 1 by n. For finding out the value of theta, you want n times sin r1. Can I make n times sin r1 from here? Right? First, make it as sin r1 will be greater than sin of a minus sin inverse of 1 by n. We want n times. So, n and n I have made it over here. Now, I can substitute n sin r1 <coughs> n sin r1 is uh, should be greater than what should be greater than this particular value yes or no so can i write the same over here can i write the same over there also they play sin theta which is equal to n times sin r1 should be greater than n times sin r1 should be greater than what huh. yes this value n times sin a minus a minus sine inverse of 1 by n. Got it? Now, you can remove the middle part n times sine r1. You can write sine theta is equal to n times sine a minus of sine inverse of 1 by n. So, theta will be equal to a sine of inverse. This sine going to the right hand side. Sine inverse, right? Greater than this, greater than, sorry n sin a minus sin inverse of 1 by n. This is going to be the final answer. Okay. Obviously, tough question tha, but only by doing tough questions, you are going to be super tough. <coughs> hey, yeah, so, after this, no more hard topics, no more hard questions done. And uh, please have a look at it. If you have any doubts, please let me know. Jaldi se bata mujhe. Koi doubt hai to bata or else we can start with the new symbol symbol chotu to topics such as uh, how is rainbow formed, 
right? What is scattering of light? Why the sky is looking blue color? Why the sun is having red color during the sunset time? Are I say choti choti baate interesting topics we'll be discussing. Done. Question was tough. Understood, Anna. Badia, badia, badia. Amazing. So, if you have a smile, you can smile. Sir, you can smile. Sir, you can smile. Sir, you can smile. Sir, start new topic. Why stars are glittering? <laughs> sir, excuse me. Yes, Priya. Sir, a doubt. Can we do this by snail slow? Array, we have used snail slow only. Directly by using snail slow only, we have solved. Okay. So, we are going to do हम जा रहे हैं रेनबो। Now my question is, is there any natural phenomenon you have observed, which uh, where the principles of dispersion is used? The answer is right on the board, a rainbow, right? Isn't it the white light coming from the sun, which is getting converted itself into seven different colors during the raining time? Won't you be seeing the seven different colors on the sky like this, and you'll be saying? Are mom, uh, mom, dad, come out, my sisters, your brothers, come out. I'm able to see an amazing, beautiful rainbow on the sky. I love, I love rainbows. I think you also love rainbow. I don't think anyone can exist in this world without loving the rainbow. Na? During amazing evening, if you look at the sky, if you can see that seven different colors where the birds are flying at that point of time, don't you think that would be the amazing evening you all can have? Personal opinion for me, that will be the best evening I can have if I if I also have a cup of tea in my hand, right? Now, you'll be thinking, sir, okay, we agree that white light is converted into seven different colors. Theek hai. Dispersion is also happening. Sir, but you only thought us for dispersion, there should be a prism. Are, who told that there should be a prism all the time for the dispersion to happen? Na? There should be a different medium and uh, in atmosphere, you know that everything is possible. So, how rainbow can be formed? Yes, with the presence of water droplets in the atmosphere, the dispersion can happen or the refraction can happen and form the rainbows. Shall we understand how this is actually converted into seven different colors when the light actually passes through this uh, water droplets? Sunle, achche se. I think this, uh, my content person uh, made this uh, picture look so beautiful. I love it. How uh, All the colors and one screen. Are abhi to white ho gaya. Okay. Now. Now, let us understand how this rainbow is actually formed. Think that I am standing like this. Okay. I am standing like this and my backside is uh, Facing what my backside is facing the sun. Either we have a sun, a yellow color sun. Kaun hai? Kaun hai bhai idhar? Haan, sun to hai. And we are standing like this. This is our backside. If you stand like this only, we will be able to see the rainbow. Let's see why. We have a droplet. What happens? A light ray will be coming. Can you see a light ray coming? Yes, it will be entering into this water droplets. And what will happen? Yes, it will be converted into its uh, seven different colors. So you can see that a red color will be there. Aise ho jayega, and aise ho jayega. Anna? And uh, what about the blue? Blue ka hai. Violet indigo blue. The blue color will be making uh, more deviation. And it will be undergoing the deviation like this. Array blue, it is not visible, right? So, I think light blue can be used. So, we can see that SA, right? Which means you can see that a light ray which is coming. The violet has undergone the maximum deviation. And the red has gone a minimum deviation. Red color, it is visible. But after refraction from the second surface, the light rays are diverging. Which means we won't be able to see these light rays because light rays are diverging after coming out of these two water droplets. So what happens, Anna? How you are able to see this rainbow is, let's say another droplet because there are millions of droplets in our atmosphere. So another droplet. Kya color use karega hum? Ha, yellow color again. A white light is coming. Again, what will happen? Undergo the deviation. 
राइट रेड कलर ऐसे डिविएट हो जाएगा है ना इट बी अंडर गोइंग द डिविएशन लाइक दिस एंड द वायलेट विल बी अंडर गोइंग मोर डिविएशन देख ले यस नाउ व्हाट यू कैन सी यू कैन सी दैट दीज टू लाइट रेज दीज टू लाइट रेज आर डाइवर्जिंग sorry these two light rays are converging at this point which one the red color from here and the violet uh, violet color from here right so this is one of the case of rainbow formation and this rainbow form we call it as primary rainbow what do we call this a primary rainbow wherever you have red light on top of the violet right while you look into the rainbow right this kind of rainbows are called as primary rainbow and some other conditions also has to be satisfied for primary rainbow to be formed the light ray should be incident on top incident should be on top the first condition to be satisfied next how many refraction will it be undergoing dekhle it will be undergoing two refraction here and here and uh, one total internal refraction so these are the conditions for having a primary rainbow in primary rainbow which color will be on the top obviously the red color will be on the top is it clear chotu sa topic hai chotu sa topic hai a colorful topic let's say hai na hai ya nahi hai ya nahi hai ya nahi bol de bol do na zara jaldi so i'm looking into the chat box and i see i hope everyone understood hai na ha 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 yes bharat me are everyone is telling ha sir bilkul why don't we proceed to the next dekh le again next case here we have our sun okay and uh, हम तो इधर है दिस इज आर बैक साइड एंड हियर वी हैव आर ड्रॉपलेट ओके लेट्स से टू ड्रॉपलेट्स नाउ लेट्स से हियर वी आर हैविंग अ लाइट रे व्हिच इज इंसिडेंट एट द बॉटम व्हाट विल हैपन इट विल अंडरगो रिफ्रैक्शन आई एम नॉट ड्राइंग ऑल द सेवन डिफरेंट कलर्स इनसाइड सो दैट देयर वोंट बी एनी कंफ्यूजन आई एम जस्ट ड्राइंग इट एज अ सिंगल रिफ्रैक्शन रिफ्रैक्शन हो जाएगा टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन हियर total internal reflection here also and then it will be coming out after refraction now you can see, uh, draw the light rays tell me which will be undergoing more deviations obviously the least will be red and the more deviation will be for which one the more deviation will be for the violet these are the light rays coming from which one from the very first the red and violet similarly what we'll be having ha uh, we'll be having a light ray incident the second uh, uh, light drop refraction either total internal reflection one more total internal reflection and from here we can draw that both the light rays how it emerges this is uh, the red color which is undergoing minimum deviation and this is the violet which undergoes maximum you can see that these two light rays from uh, two different droplets are converging here in front of our eyes and which one is on the top violet in the on the top and uh, red color is where red color is bottom by using your complete intellectual memory why don't you all tell me what kind of or what can you call this rainbow as primary to we already have explained so ye ho jayega ha bilkul this will be ha bilkul this is a secondary rainbow this will be a secondary rainbow for secondary rainbow what will be on the top violet will be on the top and red will be at the bottom and there are some difference in uh, procedures also or the phenomenon also what is happening inside the water drop how many refractions 
how many refractions can you see how many refractions dekh le one refraction two refractions and how many total internal reflection for secondary rainbows one two if all these things are formed only we can have a secondary rainbow this is the reason why we don't see rainbows usually because uh, we have to face our back to the sun then there should be enough droplets and after this droplets the light ray should be reaching at the bottom of the droplets where a two uh, refraction total internal reflection has to go then finally it has to reach our eyes are baap re after telling this itself me to thak gaya so you just think of if all these things has to happen right it is the possibility is very very low that the reason we see rainbow very less because of all these procedures has to happen on a single run samajh mein aa gaya rainbow ke bare mein understood about uh, how the colors are being formed on the sky the reason for the happiness of the sky sabko sabki yaar ho main theek hai अच्छे से विथ अ स्माइल आई होप यू ऑल आर नोटिंग इट डाउन राइट ऑल दीज आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम सो डोंट फॉरगेट सो मच इम्पॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज नोट इट डाउन बहुत 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 इम्पॉर्टेंट है ठीक है तो वी आर प्रोसीडिंग मूविंग फर्दर सेम थिंग ठीक है नेक्स्ट स्कैटरिंग ऑफ लाइट scattering of light dekh le now rainbow is done scattering of light what is scattering which means uh, the light getting uh, distributed in all the direction we can say another meaning of scattering right getting distributed in all the random direction we call it uh, as a scattering right how the light can be scattered dekh le sun from the sun the white light will be coming which is uh, the constituent of all the seven different colors right it will be coming through the space which is vacuum no molecules are there once it enters into this atmosphere which will be full of molecules and particles what happens yes all these seven different colors will start getting colliding with the existing particles in the atmosphere and what happens yes the light will be scattered in all the direction once it reaches the atmosphere and according to rayleigh's law according to r a y l e h it was a scientist who found out that the scattering is inversely proportional to the fourth power of wavelength which means it is inversely proportional to fourth power of wavelength so who can have a large scattering the one with the lesser value of wavelength among the violet indigo blue green yellow orange red which one is having uh, the least wala lambda it is for uh, v lambda is least hai na for violet lambda is least if lambda is least the scattering will be more the violet white light will be scattered more this is the reason why if the white light enters into the atmosphere and reaches our sky right the violet color or the blue color will be completely scattered over the entire sky because it has the largest scattering power because of its uh, small wavelength so once the entire violet light scatter on the sky in which color will be seeing the sky ha huh, obviously we will be seeing the sky in violet color now if anyone ask you why the sky is blue okay right you can answer that right do i look like an angel here <laughs> i i feel like na huh? wow good i feel uh, this is also good nice picture right so understood why the sky is blue because the blue color or let's say the violet color is undergoing the maximum scattering so who will be undergoing the least scattering the red color right so the red color will be undergoing the least scattering and uh, this is the reason why the sun appears red during sunset and sunrise wow another beautiful picture who can explain why the sun is having a red color during sunset and sunrise dekh le this is our earth 
right? During the uh, time of sunset, the light ray from the sun has to travel a larger distance, right? Here, the distance will be larger during the time of sunset or sunrise. So, all the light rays has to travel this larger distance for reaching the sun. But you know that violet and all the rest of the colors which is having high scattering compared to red will be scattered away. So, which is the only light available to reach here on the surface without scattering? Red color. Q. Because it undergoes least scattering. So, the red light without undergoing scattering will be directly reaching here and we will be seeing the sun in red color. Ab samaj mein aage achche se? Achche se samaj mein aage hai nahi? Haa ya nahi? Bol de. Hai na? Now understood why, why this uh, <coughs> atmosphere is showing all these amazing beautiful phenomenon. All these amazing beautiful phenomenon are happening just because of reflection let's say or refraction let's say. So, these small small things is making this uh, world look so beautiful. How many are here who love uh, these kind of evenings? An evening with a red color uh, sun, let's say there is a rainbow and uh, the birds are flying, you are having a chai or a coffee in your hand and just uh, drinking looking at this uh, sky. How many of you think that once this is done, once that uh, picture is done in your life, you don't need anything more than that uh, to say you are successful in your life? <coughs> I think many of you would love to have such a kind of evening, right? A peaceful evening where you don't have to think about any of your thing. Need exam, board exam, J exam, kuch nahi. It's you and the nature. Right? Won't it be amazing? And this will be super dhamaka if there is a beautiful music playing right next to you. A beautiful low uh, voice music. Right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you will be like, sir, philosophy bus, physics ke lekar aage badaiye. Hai na? <laughs> yes. Slides are awesome. Uh, I'll, I'll say that I'll uh, convey these uh, regards to my content person, okay, whoever is making my content. Okay, now all these topics are done and it's time for optical instruments. Shuru kare. Yes, Shuru, the very last topic of this particular chapter, optical instrument. We will try to cover as much as possible from the part of microscope and tomorrow we will be covering the part of uh, telescope. Tomorrow means next class is on Thursday, right? Shuru kare, microscope, aray microscope easy side pe na, haan, theek hai. So microscope shuru kare, tomorrow we will start with telescope. Okay, tell me why we are having a microscope in order to have an enlarged view of an object. You might have used this microscope in your labs to see such as a tiny, tiny microorganisms, which all were the microorganisms from biology, if I do remember, which I learned in my 10th standard. Sclerenchyma, colenchyma, something was there. Is it, are these microorganisms? Ha, amoeba is there, right? Ha. So, for uh, seeing this amoeba and all, we will be using this uh, microscope. Huh? So, microscope is basically used to have an enlarged view of an object. Theek. Now, we are going to learn about this microscope as simple microscope and compound microscope. How we are going to divide? We are going to divide as, is it, it's not clear, right? We will use the light ray as a simple microscope and compound microscope. You all might be knowing this microscope uh, to its best knowledge. This is the microscope. The compound microscope is the one which you use in your labs. Okay, for looking at that amoeba. Okay. Other than that, there is a simple microscope. That is a compounded version of the microscope. Other than that, we have a simple microscope. Everyone might be knowing, right? But I know that you will be giving me the answer once I tell you, ha, huh, this is the case. How many of you have gone for a palm reading? For reading your palm and uh, 
that person will be telling ha you're going to you you or your son or whoever it is let's say your mom is or dad is actually looking her uh, palms for a palm reading right according to astrology then that person will be telling that astrology will be telling that ha your uh, son is going to be having or your daughter is going to be having an amazing future she is going to get a, she or he is going to get amazing mark in the upcoming examinations and uh, by listening to all these things you will be like uh, having the next two days with full of dreams but i have no idea whether it happens or not i am no person to comment on it but you might have seen this right so what that person uses she'll be using or he'll be using a transparent material to look into your palms once uh, the, it once you have a look through that transparent material you know that you can have a bigger view of your palms and all the lines on your palms can be read right that itself is a simple microscope can you tell me what that transparent material is who can tell me with uh, what that transparent material is with which you look your palms are that is a common convex lens it is that palm reader is simply using a convex lens to have an enlarged view of uh, your palms and that convex lens itself is called as what a simple microscope understood a simple convex lens which we use to have an enlarged view is called as a simple microscope now don't you want to know how can we make use of this uh, convex uh, lens to act as a symbol microscope dekh le okay this is our convex lens right let's say this is focus can you tell me where should we be keeping the object let's say in the case of a palm reader where should your hand will be so that you can get an enlarged view of your hand and is the image on the same side yes what do you have to do ha huh. if you want to be having an enlarged view of the image on the same side where should you be keeping the object we all have learned the object should be kept between ha huh. optic center and focus how the image formation happens take a parallel light ray will be passing through the focus on the other side a light ray are a light ray passing through the optic center will be passing without any deviation is there any uh, uh, are these light rays converging in the real life which mean in the real space no so what you have to do is we can see that if you extrapolate these two refracted light rays it will be converging here on the same side matlab a virtual image is actually formed which is also erect hey ani so if a person who is looking from here this is the eye okay if a person who is looking from here which is receiving these two light refracted light rays will think that the image of your palm of larger size is in the size larger ha huh, is being formed on the same side so this itself is how a simple microscope is actually acting like ah ah yes a simple microscope understood this is how a convex lens is acting like a symbol microscope so where the the image uh, object has to be kept the object has to be kept between the optic center and the focus samajh mein aa gaya is a concept so clear jaldi se bata de <coughs> jaldi is a concept clear the working of a convex lens as a simple microscope acche se अच्छे से समझ में आ गया या नहीं आ गया यो 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 इज इट अ यो फ्रॉम एवरी वन परफेक्ट अंडरस्टूड ठीक है नाउ इन द केस ऑफ अ सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टू एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन द टू एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन मतलब द इमेज फॉर्मेशन एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर right and uh, an image formation at a distance of infinity these are the two conditions where we'll be discussing where uh, in the case of simple microscope image formation at 25 cm are ye 25 cm do you know why it is so important why we are considering an image formation with a convex lens or a simple microscope at 25 cm 
try to look at uh, these two fingers. Okay, everyone take out your fingers. Huh. Try to look at these fingers, keeping it close your eyes. Are you able to see it uh, very clearly? For me, and I think for every normal person, you won't be able to see that. Which means, to see these two fingers in a very clear manner, the closest distance that you can keep from a normal high who is uh, having a healthy eye is 25 centimeter. If you keep any object closer than the 25 centimeter, we won't be able to see this. So the closest distance an object can be kept so that you can see it clearly is 25 centimeter and that is called as the least distance of distinct vision. This is the minimum distance an object can be viewed in front of the eyes and the value is 25 centimeter represented with the D all the time. So that is the minimum distance that you can keep an object, right? And the maximum distance that you can see the images when it is formed at infinity. So we are finding out these two extreme conditions of image formation with a simple microscope. Ye karne ja rahe hum log. Understood? Understood? Theek hai? Jaldi bol de, jaldi bol de, jaldi bol de. Bol de, ha ya nahi. Sir, samaj mein aa gaya? Aha aa gaya. Toh bol de wo. Arre, ye toh idhar gaya. Okay. So, shuru kare. Haan sir, perfect, clear, Miara, Anna, Rachna, Jatin, very good. Anurag sir, physics ko jaanta hai, haan, haan, bilkul. Hum toh dost bhi hai. Okay, we used to talk. We are going to start a new course for every one of you soon. So, kyun nahi jaanta Anurag sir ko? Hai na? Toh dekh le, coming back. <coughs> okay, now. We are going to see, right, the image formation in a convex lens at least distance of distinguishing, right? Image form at D. We are having a convex lens, right? This is the focus. Tell me, where should I be keeping the object so that you can have a magnified image on the same side where object is kept? Yes, between the optic center and the focal length you know how the image formation happens, right? I'm just drawing the same. So, here we'll be having an image formation and at a distance of 25 centimeter. Let's say this is the condition for getting an image at a distance of 25 centimeter, this. Okay, now, what is uh, so much important for a lens, which means for a microscope, what is so much important? It's magnification because we are using this microscope in order to magnify the object. So what is the most important quantity that we have to find from a microscope? What its magnification is, right? Isn't it? So yes, what we are going to find out from here is the magnification once we try to make an image at least distance of distinguishing. Karle, karega. Magnification ka formula, sab ko pata hai, bhi bhai hai, hai ya nahi, haa, bilkul sir, hum sab ko pata hai, ye bhi pata hai kya, lens formula, 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F, ye bhi pata hai, from here can I get 1 by U, 1 by U lay it to the right hand side, ye ho jayega, 1 by V minus 1 by F, okay, so, V, into 1 by u, and now v into 1 by u, this part, what can I replace 1 by u with? 1 by v minus 1 by f. v, if you multiply inside the bracket, v by v is 1 minus v by focal length. In this case, where the image is formed? At least distance of distinguishing d. What is the sign? It is measured towards left. So, the sign is negative. So, the image is formed at minus d by f, right? So, this is equal to 1 plus d by f. 
ये क्या है हाँ दिस इज द इक्वेशन फॉर मैग्निफिकेशन वेन एवर वी यूज अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस फॉर मैग्निफिकेशन एंड द इमेज इज फॉर्म वेयर हाँ बिल्कुल वेन द इमेज इज फॉर्म एट लीस्ट डिस्टेंस ऑफ डिस्टिंग डिशन वेन एवर द इमेज इज फॉर्म एट लीस्ट डिस्टेंस ऑफ डिस्टिंग डिशन दिस केस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज strain eye how many of you know why this is called as a strained eye condition pata hai kya because you know that whenever you keep an object very close to us right let's say at the minimum distance that is 25 cm don't you have some strain to look at it compared to an object which is very far away if you look at an object very far away it won't be causing so much of strain strain but once you keep the object very close to us let's say at this uh, 25 cm distance it will be having or it will be causing lot much of strain so this condition of image formation hum uh, kya bhi call kar sakta hai with a strained eye condition right we can call this also likh le and this is very important the magnification in this case this is very important let's say super duper or super ka upar wala important यो इज इट यो फ्रॉम एवरी वन और सबको समझ में आ गया समझ में आ गया तो मजा भी आ जाएगा मुस्कुराहट भी आ जाएगा आपके चेहरे पे वो आ गया तो बता दे इफ यू ऑल आर हैविंग अ स्माइल ऑन योर फेसेस तो बिल्कुल ठीक है आई कैन ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाँ मेरा पूरा का पूरा लेजेंड्स को ये समझ में आ गया अच्छे से समझ में आ गया यस परफेक्ट सर गिव मी योर नंबर अरे आई टोल यू आई एम नॉट अलाउड टू give my personal information here super bhi upar manasil aaye kitty kitty <laughs> okay yes 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 theek hai now this part is done whenever the image is formed at simple microscope here formula for magnification tell me 1 plus d by f once again image formed at a least distance of distinguishing simple microscope formula for magnification by heart 1 plus d by f 1 plus d by f 1 plus d by f d ka value 25 don't forget f is a focal length of this given focal uh, convex lens badhiya hai na sab badhiya hai na okay koi gadbad nahi okay moving on are ye idhar hai now let's see the image form at infinity with this same microscope which is a simple microscope which is a convex lens if the image is formed at infinity what the magnification is going to be dekh le which means we are having the convex lens just consider that the case of a palm reader okay that person is having the convex lens and uh, your palm is now kept where exactly at the focus how the image formation happens here a light ray parallel will be passing through the focus a light ray which is uh, passing through optic center will be passing without any deviation and uh, tell me if a person is looking from here this is i okay the light ray is reaching uh, this uh, particular person's eye what does the eye think that the eye will think that these parallel light rays are coming from where it is coming from infinity which mean they will think that the image a very huge image is formed where a very huge image is actually formed at infinity hai na hai na which mean this is a case of having an image at infinity what is the case where should you be keeping the object ha we should be keeping the object at the focus now here if we try to find out the magnification by the formula of v by u is it possible is it possible to find the magnification here by the formula of v by u bilkul nahi kyunki the image will be formed almost at infinity so we'll have to put v is equal to uh, infinity it won't be giving us a proper value for magnification right so here instead of finding this uh, magnification by using the formula of v by u which is not feasible in this case as the image is formed at infinity okay we will be finding out the angles subtended by the image 
to angle subtended by the object. You know that if the image is larger, the angle at substance will also be larger. And if the object is uh, having a large size, its angle will also be having a larger value. Matlab, the value of the angle subtended by each and every object or the image will be directly proportional to what? Its height. If it is having this much of height, the angle will be so small. If it is very big height, the angle will also be larger. Right? So, why we are doing this? Because the image is formed at infinity. By the usual method of finding out magnification, not possible. So, we will be finding out the magnification by using the formula of uh, angle subtended by the image to the angle subtended by the object. This is what we are going to find out. Okay. Isn't this our image? Right? Isn't the angle subtended by the image this? Yes. Theta i. Hey, Annie, instead of finding out the very big one, can't we just confine this to the very small angle because the angle is same here? Hey, hey Annie, can you tell me what is theta i? Theta, opposite side, what is this? Height of the object. I hope you can understand, right? Height of the object divided by opposite by adjacent, what is this? focus divided by samaj mein aa gaya actually this theta is the angle subtended by the image with the lens but instead of taking this very large triangle for finding out that theta don't you have a similar triangle here dekh le from here also you can find out that theta i value ha kar sakta hai hai na bilkul so i have written theta i value as h not by f what is theta not Theta naught means if I take this object separately, if you look with your bare eyes without the lens, how much angle will it be subtending? That is theta naught. Obviously, this theta naught angle will be directly proportional to the height of the object, right? Because magnification is height of the image by height of the object, right? Theta I will, I will be directly proportional to the height of the image. And, uh, Theta naught will be directly proportional to the height of the object. That's why we have made a separate equation for magnification in terms of angle. Theek hai, bas. What is theta naught? This is height of the object again. And uh, what is the minimum distance we have to keep an object from the eye so that it can be uh, seen distinctly? D. Hai na? So, theta naught ka value ho gaya. H naught by D. Substitute kar le. H naught by D. Substitute kia H naught, H naught. This is one of the amazing thing. I also like cancelling. H naught and H naught cancel ho gaya. D by F magnification. This is the formula for magnification in which case? In the case of a simple microscope, right? In the case of a simple microscope where the image is formed at infinity. Can you tell me, this image formation, hai na, will this be with the strained eye or will it be with the relaxed eye? This image formation, tell me, will it be with the strained eye or will it be with the relaxed eye? Aray, charge kar le, Jatin. Jaldi se daud le. Okay, go fast, quick, to your uh, socket and plug your uh, charger. Simple, simple, got it, badiya baat hai. And please do note the formula for magnification super duper duper ka upper important. Without learning the simple uh, microscope, right, uh, you won't even be understanding about what? Ha, compound microscope. Sir, hydrate yourself. Ha, me bhi bhul gaya tha. I'm also thirsty. Who, who made me? Ha, Sudeep, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So, array, if the object, if the image formed is very far away from us, for looking at that image, won't it be a relaxed situation? You know that if the image is very close to us, it will be a bit hard. You only try keeping your palm just in front of your eyes. Isn't it difficult to concentrate on the object? Ah, bilkul. Aray, yaar. I'm having a take. So, if you keep uh, the same object very far away from you, obviously, that will be the relaxed situation. So, this is... 
the relaxed situation of seeing an image. Find when the image is formed at where ha ah, least distance of distinguishing. Tiga, bol de. How many are here who haven't shown some love towards Amir sir? How can you show some love towards Amir sir or the physics? Ha, ah, click on that like button and do let me know that. Ha, ah, sir, humko us achhi se achhe me samajh me aa raha hai and uh, yes, we do love you. So click on that like button and do let me know that. Sir, we do love you and we are loving your classes and that is a simple way of giving me appreciations. So, we'll be uh, continuing with uh, the compound microscope in tomorrow's class. Either tak sab badiya. Bol do na zara dil mein jo hai chipa main kisi se karunga nahi. Bol do. Samaj mein aa gaya? Jaldi se. Yo sir, yo sir, yo yo yo. <laughs> Okay, yes. So, regarding uh, the compound microscope, we'll be doing in tomorrow's class. Questions are mainly based on uh, the compound microscope. So, only after covering this uh, compound microscope, uh, we'll be able to do it. And uh, someone is asking, sir, aapka code kitna hai? Right? My code is AMB10. If you wish to purchase any subscription, if you feel like, ha, whenever you make the purchase, uh, Sarko Toda Helbi Karega. This is the best opportunity. You can use my code. And uh, yes. Sir, triceps. Dika. I can show you biceps. Why? Thoda hai. <laughs> I have no idea. I have, I have shown that anyway. Hai, this is my code. Now, uh, let me tell you to all the various in the classroom. Okay. So, tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow we are having special class, a special class alert. I know that exams are approaching, right? So we are having special class of uh, capacitors tomorrow. At what time? 5 p.m. Entire concept and multiple choice question will be discussed. This will be really helpful for you. Those who haven't enrolled, jaldi se enroll kar le capacitors at 5 p.m. Then we have uh, Faraday's law. And lenses law at 6.30 p.m. You know where special classes happen exactly in the Unacademy learning app. Those who haven't joined the Unacademy learning app, jaldi se go and download this Unacademy learning app. Right, log into it. You will see the menu button. Click on special from the pop-up, uh, pop-down menu. Right, click on special. Search for my classes. Right, capacitor is 5 p.m. tomorrow and Faraday's and lenses at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow. You will be thinking, sir, app hai to, to thoda paisa ta ho jayega. Nay, this is a completely free, free classes, special classes. This will be a great opportunity for every one of you to make a revision. Don't, don't, uh, let's say, miss this opportunity. And uh, they'll be asking you for a code for entering. The code that you have to use for entering into these two topics are AMB10. The unlock code is AMB10. So those who haven't enrolled, anyone here who haven't enrolled, jaldi se enroll kar le abhi, 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 abhi. Go to the Unacademy Learning app, enroll for this, jaldi se. Even if you don't come, you'll be getting uh, the notifications. Theek hai? Huh? So I'm expecting every one of you. I'll also posting the link for uh, these two classes in the Unacademy Telegram group also. Right, you can come and join. Yes, yes. Okay, so everyone here, you can ask your friends also to come and join in tomorrow's session. Okay. Hum to ja rahe. And uh, the reason why the special class are important is uh, it will be a real fun to learn, right? Because uh, chat box will be there, uh, question tab where you can ask me questions, live quizzes will be there, leaderboard will be there. It's so much of fun. Then. I think it's time to say goodbye and good night to everyone. And uh, those who haven't liked the session, this is the best time to give motivation to me, sir, ko, uh, just by clicking on that like button. And uh, any subscription you make, the code is AMB10. Don't forget. Theek hai? Thank you so much, everyone, for being here and making the class so awesome. I hope you all have enjoyed. Right? And uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this class, understood each and every concept. 
tomorrow which means thursday will be having the very last class of ray optics right the last class of ray optics is on thursday at 10 pm don't miss your class we will be talking about compound microscope and telescope right so bye everyone thank you so much once again right and uh, yes signing out from an academy let's crack it like all the time good night